It can be hard sometimes to find the motivation to go for the morning run. What I need is a personal trainer. Or a robot. This is Joggerbot, a flying robot. It's one of the projects being developed in the Exertion Games Lab at Melbourne's RMIT. So what we are interested in the lab is the intersection between the body, play and technology. And sports and exercise is a form of play for us. And if the way to explore this is by actually creating these type of experiences that we see can happen in 10 years' time. So that's why we designed Joggerboard in order to understand how it would be to interact with an embodied flying system. Joggerboard is based on a commercially available quadrocopter. And what we've done is now we kind of repurposed it for being a jogging companion. So we changed the software around, and what it does now, it's got a little camera, and with the camera we track the jogger. Um, in fact, the jogger's T-shirt that we put a special marker on and program the software so that it stays, it always knows where the jogger is and stays at a certain distance. And then we modify the distance to understand how people react to the jogger board when they're exercising. Okay, so the camera, that's the, the camera there? That's the camera there, yes. So can we have a look under the bonnet? Sure, so there's an, um, a sensor that measures, measures the altitude. And oh, so you can choose whether it flies at, say, this height or this height. So yeah, we did the software that does that because we want to figure out what does it actually mean if the jogger board flies like on chest level, what happens if it flies higher, right? You know, if this takes on the role of a coach, if the coach looks down to you, yeah. what does it do to you? Yeah. What, if yeah. it, what if it changes if it flies lower? Is it more like a dog when it is actually is much lower? So these are the kind of questions we really want to explore. So, so I guess if, yeah, if you're looking up to it, there might be a chance that you know, you're feeling slightly inferior to it and you'll do what it says, where if you're looking down on it, you'll say, no, I'm not going to run faster. Exactly, yeah. Well, I can't put it off any longer. It's time to do some jogging. You have to put the T-shirt on. OK. It's got the marker. OK, that's and the marker that the camera looks on. Exactly, phones, yeah. yeah. And then it tracks you and off you go. OK. Great, Ready let's go. do it. I must say, I'm not entirely sure which of us is the trainer. So if you're getting sick of this joggerbot telling you how to <laughs> jog, can you do a runner? Can you hide? Good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, you can't get away from this <laughs> robot? Yeah. Actually, the, the joggerbot might get away from you because um, so far we set it up so it flies in front of you. So it goes a certain path, but you might choose to go a different path. And we thought, hmm, maybe that can actually be something that um, you expect from social companions. They go off somewhere. So you might still be, as you do with a dog, chasing after the jogger bike. Exactly. Get back here. Yeah. yeah. Robots have been mainly designed to do things humans don't want to, like the vacuuming, or can't do, like exploring the surface of Mars. There's always been replacing your work tasks. But here's a new view on robotic technologies. It's a view as a social companion. And uh, people haven't really explored that yet. And we think there is huge potential for seeing robots as a social companion for exercise. I'm sure robotic personal trainers have a big future. But in the meantime, it's pretty hard to beat the personal touch. You ready? All right, let's go. 